clearly the, uh, the Vatican doesn't like this question uh, even to be discussed anymore and we every Catholic knows how strongly Pope John Paul II has come out against it the uh, the discussion however does continue and uh, and I think it will continue and I think the the question r really remains um, whether uh, the the reasons that are given uh, against the ordination of women uh, are convincing ones or strong ones or, or really represent the tradition. I think people who would uh, challenge that uh, would believe that if they can make arguments that uh, for the ordination of women that um, are stronger in, even in terms of the Christian tradition. Not that not that the church has ever ordained women, I'm not suggesting that. It never has, but I think the question would be uh, given the understanding we now have of a, a sort of a theology of sexuality, um, are the reasons that stopped the church from ordaining women in the past, are they valid? Are they reasons that should continue to apply? And uh, personally, I, I favor uh, an open discussion on, on that issue. I, I don't, th I think an open discussion in which people are not threatened is uh, is essential uh, for any kind of real resolution of that question apart from one that simply is authority stepping in and say well you mustn't talk about that anymore uh, for, for the question really to be solved I think it's got to be thrown into the open area of discussion um, but in a spirit of obedience I think uh, all Catholics in the end are willing to uh, be obedient to their legitimate legitimate pastors um, but then it's this other American thing that we were talking about um, Americans would be hard to convince that they didn't have a right to express their opinion on this matter <laughs>